rubbish picnics, weeing in bushes, dogging. What have they all got in common? Laybys. Yes, I'm going to a layby. Hello, hello, me again, which means another episode of King of the Crib, the show where I take your suggestions and then go and try some lovely food around Cornwall. Today is no different. I've got another brilliant suggestion, this time from somebody who's commented already, uh, which is Friars1980, they've been in touch again. And from a post I did about street food, they have commented saying, I should try Tom's Diner near Grand Pound. Apparently Tom is an ex Rick Stein chef and he does brilliant burgers. Now I looked up Tom's Diner, doesn't exist. The only Tom's Diner I could find was in New York. Now, uh, yeah, New York. Now I know that Grand Pound is a bit far away from Falmouth, but it's not in New York. So I worked out through detective work that it's actually Tom's Takeaway that I should be going to. That is the one near Grand Pound. So that's where we're going, Tom's Takeaway. And please, I did some actual investigation because otherwise I'm just going to a lay-by in Grand Pound to eat a burger, which might be a euphemism for something else. But Tom's Takeaway does exist. And oh, Tom's Takeaway is smashing the five-star reviews on TripAdvisor. In fact, they only have five-star reviews on TripAdvisor. People are loving it. Cornwall Live have said they're some of the best burgers in Cornwall. So I thought this is definitely one that the King of the Crib has to try out. So I looked up how to get there. On Tom's Takeout's Facebook page, they say they're in a lay-by on the A390, a mile and a half from Grand Pound, just before you get to Andrew Tom's car sales. So uh, yeah, doesn't sound dodgy at all. We're gonna go there, we're gonna try it out and see what Tom's Takeaway has in store up in a lay-by. Let's go. I'm just under 10 minutes away from Tom's takeout. Uh, looking forward to it. I, I, if I'm honest, I'm not really a burger person. It's not something I would choose if I was in a pub. I wouldn't go burger first choice, because I think a burger is really easy to get wrong. Like you can definitely get a burger wrong easier than a steak, because like the, the beef can be dry, the bun thing can be like not not fresh the salad can be awful there's loads of components that you can get wrong it also came to me as i was driving up here uh the song there was a song tom's diner i know we've worked out that it's tom's takeout um but do you remember the song in the 80s tom's diner <laughs> it had that really catchy uh tune do 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 no just me then. <laughs> It'll be great if that song was actually about a burger van in a lay-by on the A390. <laughs> I am sitting in a lay-by somewhere near St Austell and somewhere near Grand Pound on the A390 and I hope that he makes some bloody good burgers because it's raining and I'd rather be sitting on my couch. Do 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 do. Right, I've got to keep my eyes open now because I'm not exactly sure where it is and apparently I'm two minutes away. As we know from the Tom's Takeout Facebook page, uh, I, I think it's before or after a car dealership. Uh, still nothing along here though. Eyes peeled. I feel like the Terminator when he's scanning everything with his, uh, with his computer eyes. Cornish Terminator. I did a video once called the Cornish Terminator. I'll put a link in the video. There's the link. Click it. It's fun. But the sat nav is telling me I've got one minute. I wonder if he's got any signage. Tom's? Tom's Burger? I've seen a sign. I've seen a sign. Oh my gosh. Is this it? I'm here. No, am I here? Have I gone too early? No. I see it. Some purple signage. Tom's take out we're here my friends he's open i can already see someone with a lovely beard who's getting a sandwich 
He looks fairly scary, actually. I'm gonna stay in the car until he's gone. Tom's takeout, burgers and breakfasts. Right, let's get over there and try it out. <gasps> So I'm just waiting for my burger now. I've gone for the cheese and bacon burger, quarter pounder, lovely. Um, very, very popular. There's people waiting. Um, you wouldn't know it was here, really. A little signage as you come in. And uh, But we are just on the side of the A390. As you can hear, cars whizzing past. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. They do a lovely range of burgers. And uh, Tom seems like a very nice chap. Uh, so let's see what happens when I get the actual burger and put it in my face. Right, well, I'm back in the car. I was going to sit on the little table and chairs they've got there outside Tom's takeout, but it started to drizzle. Of course it has. So I'm back in the car and I've got a friend with me. Do you want to meet him? Here he is. I'm quite excited for this burger. I'm really hungry this morning. I mean, I mean, look, this this is a homemade beef patty. Uh, I was watching Tom doing his cooking. He takes time and effort over what he's doing there. He is a proper chef, a chef working from a van, but a proper chef. Right, well, let's give this a go. There's, a, there's only one way to do it. Let's just d dive right in. I've gone a little bit dizzy with uh, excitement. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> that's all I can say is, oh, that is a very good burger. A very good burger. I, right, enough talk. Oh my gosh. Tom, can I take you home? <laughs> wow. I just want to show you, sometimes close-ups of food don't do them justice. The, the burger is so juicy. That is a very juicy, well-seasoned, homemade burger patty. That is lovely. Um, he asked me if I wanted any salad. I said yes, I wanted uh, lettuce and uh, red onion. And I've gone for the cheese and bacon. Uh, the cheese is a lovely cheese. I'm not sure what cheese he's using. It looked like a cheddar that he was cutting, um, but it, it's very flavoursome cheese. I'm going to go in for another bite, I'm afraid. <laughs> wow. Wow. The reason I'm so positive about this burger isn't just because it's a brilliant burger, but because you wouldn't expect it from a little van in a lay-by. I mean, yes, I was told that he's a great chef. I was told that he's worked for people like Rick Stein before, and I've seen all the positive reviews. But when you turn up, you just don't know. It's amazing. So, uh, I just, I, I, uh, I'm talking too much. Let's eat the burger. Oh, I'm in a bit of a food coma. <laughs> I've never taken drugs really, but I imagine this is what it's like to be in a club and be given like something dodgy. And just, just when you take it, you're like, my God, this is the best thing ever. I need to open the window. I'm, I'm getting overcome with burger and joy. Let's open the window. Oh, there you go. Let's just get some drizzle on the face. Oh yeah, wash off the burger. Oh, one burger done, 
one Colin very, very happy. Well, 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 what a brilliant day in the world of King of the Crib. I am so pleased I got the suggestion to come up here to this lay-by in between Truro and St Austell on the A390 to visit Tom's Takeout. What a brilliant experience. I'm not the only one who thinks this place is awesome. Obviously Twitter and Facebook do, but there's an older couple just sat down there on Tom's little table and chair set outside his van. And apparently they come here every day to get a bacon butty and a cup of coffee. They love it so much. The, the lady said when Tom's shut on a Sunday and she tries to make her husband a bacon sandwich at home, he basically says, she's not like Tom, I want Tom. Can we have Tom at home, please? <laughs> so uh, he's a very popular man. All right, so let's break this down into how we're gonna rate Tom's takeout out of 30. We'll do it out of 30 because that's the way we roll here on King of the Crib. First of all, what am I gonna give Tom out of 10 for quality of food? Well, I tell you what, it may be because I'm super hungry or it may be because he's got this good reputation, but that burger was one of the best burgers I've had from anywhere, like from a pub, from a burger restaurant, from a van in a lay-by, it was amazing. The burger is a homemade patty. Tom seasons it well, he cooks it well. Uh, I, I just, it was great. Really juicy, really flavoursome, a brilliant burger. And then your toppings, your bacon, your cheese, lovely. His bread rolls, really soft, really nice. Um, all the ingredients were spot on. So I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10 for quality of food. For customer service, well, Tom himself seems like a really lovely chap, really chatty, so you know, he's keen to know how you want it cooked, what you want on it. What a nice guy, doing what he wants in a lay-by for three and a half years he's been here. So look, I can't give his customer service less than 10 out of 10 either, it was really, really good. And then price, value for money, what am I gonna give that out of 10? Now my burger, the cheese and bacon burger, I went for the quarter pounder, not the half pounder. And for that I paid £4.50, I think, something like that. I also got a Coke Zero as well on top, and the overall bill was six quid. Now that burger, restaurant quality, you can't, that six pound for that burger and a drink is amazing. So do you know what? For value for money, I can't give it less than a 10, which means everyone, Tom at Tom's Takeout here in a lay-by on the A390 in between Truro and St Austell gets the very first King of the Crib 30 out of 30. 30 out of 30, a dirty 30. Wow, Tom, congratulations. The first 30 on King of the Crib. Let's celebrate, let's open up the can of Coke Zero. Oh, well done, Tom. Very, very good. So yeah, do check out Tom's Takeout. I'll try and put some links in the description on how to get here and that kind of thing. And if you've got somewhere you'd like me to go and try out some lovely crib, do comment. Comment on this video or find me on Twitter at the King of Crib on Twitter and let me know where you would like me to go and I will go there. For you, it's not for me to enjoy food. No, it's for you. I do it all for you. <laughs> So for now, my friends, that's it for King of the Crib. Thank you so much for suggesting Tom's Takeout. I've had a lovely day. I will see you next week at another one of your lovely suggestions. Do you know what? I think I might just sit in this lay-by all day and see what happens. Nope, nope. The scary man with the beard is properly staring at me now. I'm gonna go home. See you later.